Hello, welcome to Mem CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and my guest today is Diane Ballin, who is the coordinator for an event that's happening at USM on April 23rd. Diane, welcome, and tell us about this. Thank you. Um, this is the Community Electronic Waste event. It's actually a collection open to residents of Portland and neighboring communities. And it's held at USM at the Woodbury campus on April 23rd. Um, it's an amazing event. We had um, last year, I, and this is actually our fourth annual. Oh. Um, every single year we've had over 500 cars stop by with their electronics, literally unloading from the trunk. Um, computers, TVs, flat panels, um, yeah, all VCRs, etc. I looked, et at, the, I looked yeah. at the list and it was amazing and I got so excited I put it right on my calendar. Great. Well, we all have those little things, electronic things that we don't use anymore. Exactly. Haven't used for years, but they're sitting on a shelf somewhere in the garage or the basement or right in the house. Right. And just you know, you don't even see them anymore. Right. But you know you want to get rid of them. Tell us, you know, what what it generates. What, what How much did you collect last year? Um, actually, I did, um, I have a list of what we had collected mm -hmm. last year. Um, we did unload 556 cars oh. and had 51,000 pounds of electronic waste, <laughs> 3,500 pounds of appliances, and also for the event, at, at each of the events, we um, collect a monetary donation for Preble Street. So last year we collected over $1,800 for Preble Street. Oh, that's amazing. Which was so wonderful. And this event is free. Um, it usually costs to dispose of these type of items. Yeah. Yeah. So in exchange for the, you know, people being able to um, get rid of this stuff, so to speak, um, we do ask that they bring a couple dollars for Preble Street. Well, that's, it's well worth it. <laughs> now, you're the one who really instigated this here about four years ago, was yes. it? Tell yes. us how that came about, because you don't think of going to the university to, to dispose of things. Yes. So what? Um, well, actually, I was at UMA, working at UMA for 17 years. Um, toward the end of that time, there was an electronic waste collection event. It was happening at Christmas time, and I remember, you know, loading up my car with all of my obsolete electronics. Um, United Way was taking donations. And um, it was fabulous. There were cars that were lined up. And afterward, I um, called United Way and asked them, you know, who organized this and how could we get another one in the spring? So I did organize another one at UMA in the spring. Um, at that time, the United Way, I think that was their first, and they had said, they only brought a little, like, Maxwell House can. <laughs> it was overflowing. <laughs> and it was overflowing, yes, yes. That's so, um, so when I came to USM, I talked with the sustainability folks, mm -hmm. um, who are absolutely great. Uh, USM is amazing with recycling right. at the university. And um, proposed the idea, told them what I did at UMA, and that's how it all got started. Well, and I and I was saying, well, you don't think of going to the university, but what a wonderful place to to not only do something like this, but in a in a very soft way of educating people about what how important it is to recycle and how it is helpful for so many people, not just the people getting rid of stuff, but but reusing some of this stuff exactly. and not just throwing it away. Yes, exactly. And the university is a perfect place to be educating people yeah, on that. Yeah. yeah. We actually have a great system where, you know, the car is really, um, we have volunteers who kind of like, you know, unload the cars 90 miles an hour. There's <laughs> tables there. And, 
and the traffic goes pretty smoothly. I was we, wondering <laughs> when you said over 500 cars, I'm like, how do they do that? And the volunteers, where do they come from? The university or um, the community? Yeah, well, over the years, we've added a few sponsors. Time mm -hmm. Warner Cable is, um, has been a sponsor last year and mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And so they provide volunteers as well as the university. Uh, During nice. the first year, which is very cool, um, the social work department at the university I went to the professor and said, you know, would anybody be interested in volunteering for this event? And so they were given extra credit as oh. a community event <laughs> to do this, which That's is perfect. Great. Well, yeah. we, we've got to wrap it up pretty soon, but I just wanted to sort of go down the list of things so that our viewing audience will know yes. TVs, computers, monitors, keyboards, printers, stereo equipment. Um, cords, chargers, wires, VCRs, DVDs, cell phones, cameras, refrigerators, air conditioners, microwaves, anything <laughs> electric. I mean, that's amazing. It is amazing. Well, if for more information. Yes, you, um, you could call USM. Uh, Steve Sweeney is the contact at Facilities um, Sustainability, and his number is 780-4658. And it is from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on April 23rd in the Woodbury Campus, campus parking, parking lot. lot. So be there with That's all your stuff <laughs> <laughs> and a little money for the, and who is the money going to this year? Preble Street, Preble Street again. again. Yes. Terrific. Well, yes. thank you so much oh, for welcome. being here, Oh, you're welcome. Thank Diane. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>